It is your turn. It is your move. Go take it. All right, Steve Sarkeesian, your honeymoon is over. Nine wins, a blowout win over Notre Dame, and a great recruiting class. It's all nice for an appetizer, but Trojan fans are ready for the main course. Now, with the NCAA sanctions in the rearview mirror, this is when USC should start to look more like USC. So, here's the deal with the 2015 Trojans. The depth is finally starting to come back, along with the outstanding speed and talent. Quarterback Corden Kessler has a phenomenal array of young weapons to work with for a dangerous offense. Defensively, Leonard Williams has gone off the line, but their star power are returning and Leon McQuay at linebacker and Sua Cravens to work around. How good was Kessler over the second half of last year? He threw 28 touchdown passes and just four picks over the final seven games and gave up a mere five interceptions for the season. Unfortunately, it was tough to get too much attention in the league with Marcus Mariota, Brett Hundley, and several high-octane offenses, but this year, he should be the league's signature star. So, is it going to happen for USC? The road games at Arizona State, Notre Dame, and Oregon are going to be the problem, and there can't be mistakes at home against Stanford, Washington, Arizona or UCLA, but this is USC. You've got to be in the Pac-12 title hunt or there's a problem. After winning nine games last season, anything less than a 10-win 2015 will be a major disappointment, but three of the four losses last year were by six points or fewer, including a Hail Mary. This team can get to double-digit wins, but eight wins are more likely with this schedule. I'm Pete Futak. To dive deeper into the 2015 Trojans, check out the written preview on Campus Insiders.